Peace of Mingo Palavallana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue Amen. excellence. Yes. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah, man. That's, that's a mouthful, but thank you, Lord. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family. We want to welcome all those that are joining us by audio and video. <coughs> Prepare yourselves to receive. We say that all the time. Yeah. You have to prepare yourself to receive. You know, when a meal is served, you are well prepared and you are ready to munch and you're ready yeah. to eat. Amen. So, God's bringing on some food, you know, and you got to be ready to receive it. Listen to this He's not finished with you, He has great plans for you. Amen. So, be available. You can do all the things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. So, you be ready to receive what He has for you. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and correct us sometimes you know yes. he wants to we're his children but he's our heavenly father and sometimes he wants to correct his heavenly children i mean his his little children <laughs> because his, his kids have not been too heavenly amen so praise god grab your bibles and let's say this together amen amen praise god let's make this declaration together this well, yes. where's mine here's mine grab your sword Says this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You don't test your mind all the time, and that's the enemy. You don't test you all the time. The enemy. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And you know the battlefield of the mind is always active. What you feed on it is going to dominate. Amen. So you want to feed it with the Word of God. Yes. And renew your mind with the Word of God. If you don't, you're just going to fall. You know, match to the enemy. The enemy is a spiritual battle. And you know, match to the enemy. If you're fighting it in the flesh. Amen. You got to get in the Word and use the Word of God. Use it means you got to speak it out. Uh -huh. Amen. Hey, I know it all. Yeah, but you're not saying anything. So it ain't going to happen. Submit yourself to God. Resist Him. It means you got to speak it. Resist Him. And he'll flee from you. Amen. Yes. So you have to do your part. He did his part. He had no problems going to the cross. He took care of his part. And he said, Father, forgive me. Amen. Now we need to do our part. Yes. And guess what he's going to use? The church. Us. The body of Christ. Yes. Amen. Who else is he going to use? <laughs> That's all he's got Amen. to use. Praise God. Amen. He could do it all himself. But you know what? He says, we got to do our part. Yeah, yeah. And you have a part. You've been called. You've been anointed. You've been uh -huh. you've been equipped to yes. do what he wants you to do. And he's equipped you to win. He didn't equip you. He didn't put you here to lose. <coughs> That's it. If you see yourself a loser, you need to get spend some time with him. Right, you right. need to spend some time in the Word and find out what the Word of God says about you. Amen. Don't go. You know, don't see yourself down, depressed, or, or 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 a loser. See yourself a winner, a champion for God. Yeah. Who am I trying to please? I'm trying to please God, not the world. If you if you try to please the world, you're always going to lose. Yeah. Because they, you ain't never going to be good enough. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Say amen. amen. Let's go home. <laughs> Praise God. Church alive is worth the God. Yeah. Amen. You find yourself a church that's alive for Christ. Amen. Teaching the word of God. If not, go somewhere where you can learn the word, study the word. And be there, amen, to grow in the, in, in the Word of God, amen. Woo, hallelujah. <sighs> I had a challenge. Well, that was me. That was not God. It was, it was me. The title for this message, um, I wanted to give it several titles, but I think I ended up with, I Surrender All. Yeah. We need to surrender ourselves completely to Him, amen. It says this, I Surrender All. Surrender to Jesus they, uh, completely. To surrender to Him totally. Amen. I surrender all. You got to give it all. You know, uh, Pastor Pat brought up something a few minutes ago about this game was called Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> and sometimes we don't want to surrender all. We all have some baggage that we want to hold on to. Yeah. Amen. And let's make a deal. Say, what do you want to do? One, two, or three? <laughs> You can, so, uh, you can you can confess some, you can confess uh, most of them, or you can just hold them all. Uh -huh. Amen? There should be a fourth one that says, give it all. Yeah. Surrender all. Amen? Yep. Surrender all to Him. Give it all to Him. Not only uh, once in a while, but always. always. Give it all. He knows you anyway. Yeah. He knows all about you. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. he knows the bad things, the good things, and if he knows you and still loves you and went to the cross for you, why are you still holding on? To it? mm. It's time we let it go, yeah. let go, and let God. Amen. <coughs> so we go out to Him daily, totally, completely. Amen. Ooh, come on now. You know, uh, we used to play this game. It's called Cowboys. So when you, somebody put a gun on you, what did you do? It says, so you going to surrender? You raise your hands. Stick them up. You know, what are you going to stick up? Your hands. <laughs> Jesus uh -huh. stretched out his hands on the cross and he died for us. You know, and we can play this game, you know, when we can lift our <coughs> hands. To, at, at a sporting events, we can lift up our hands in, 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 a, in a music or, or concert. But we uh -huh. can lift up our hands to magnify <laughs> Jesus and say, thank you. Uh -huh. Amen. Come on. That's for all of us. Hey. Yes. But anyway, let me read this to you. Let go and let God. Jesus has great plans for you. Yeah. You know what it says? You put your name there, okay? We're not, we're not talking about somebody else. We're talking about you. Uh -huh. So you put your name there. Jesus has great plans for you. Well, he, you know, he likes so-and-so much, much better than me. So-and-so, mm -hmm. you know, hey, they, they've got it all, you know, but not me. Mm -hmm. You'll see yourself a loser. you see yourself a nobody. Mm -hmm. Well, renew your mind to yes. what God says. Amen. Says Jesus has great plans for you. Yes. None of them include defeat. That's it. None of them include, you know, you being a loser. Amen. And a wonderful future for those who are willing to submit and be totally committed to Him. Uh -huh. Amen. Submit and commit. Yes. That's what He did to the Father. He submitted Himself and committed Himself to the Father. We need to do the same thing. Amen. Submit ourselves to Him. Commit ourselves to Him. Amen. And listen to this. Submit is this. Surrender. Give completely. Mm -hmm. Totally. Amen. Yes. Yield to Him. Father. You know, well, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here. Commit means faithfully. To be faithful. To be dedicated. To be devoted to Him. Mm -hmm. We can do this. He showed us. Remember, He's our greatest example. And He says, I've done these things. I've gone through these things. Mm -hmm. You know, you can do the same thing. Yes. He sees, he sees you highly. He sees you a winner. So yes. you need to see yourself that way. Yeah. I can do all things through Christ. All and you know, when you're weak <laughs> and you can't move anymore, <laughs> you'll be there and say, Lord, I need your strength. Father, I need your strength. Jesus, yes. help me. And you know what? He's yes. there. He, why? He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's there always. Amen. So you can be opening your Bibles to uh, Matthew 16, chapter 16, verse 24 and 25. That's going to be our text. And uh, we keep going, family. We got some others for you here. All to Jesus, what? I surrender. I surrender. And thank you, praise team. They sang that song a few minutes ago. I surrender all. You need to. I. It's got the word I. That means me. Mm -hmm. I need to surrender all. Amen. You know what you're holding. You know, and what you're holding is not the same that I'm holding, but we're all holding something. But yeah. you got to give it up. He knows yeah. it. Confess it. Get it out of here. You yes. know, all that extra weight, all that extra garbage, yeah. you don't need it. Amen. You don't need it. Let it go. Surrender all. To all to Jesus. I surrender. All Keep going. To Jesus. Yes. Let me see what I, oh, there's a song right there. Mm. All to Jesus. I surrender all to him. I freely give. I will ever love and trust him in his presence daily live. Mm -hmm. Amen. This is a beautiful song. Yes. Amen. If you don't know it, get it. You know, mm -hmm. when we need something, we go to the internet and we find all these things, you know, and we listen to all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, I wonder if Jesus went and looked at your little history on the on the internet, what would come up. <laughs> he knows it all. Yes. So just Surrender totally to him. Amen. Yeah. So there we go. I'll read it to you. It says, Then Jesus told his disciples, If any man mm -hmm. would come after me, let him deny himself and yes. take up his cross and follow me. Yes. For whoever would save his life will lose it. Mm -hmm. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew yes. chapter 16, verses 24 mm -hmm. and 25. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. If any man, let me read it to you from the Amplified, amen? We're going to take it slow here. In the Amplified it says this, 
Discipleship is costly. Yes, it is. Oh, <laughs> Discipleship is costly. Mm. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to follow me mm -hmm. as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interest, mm. and take up his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come. Yeah. And follow me. Believing in me, conforming in me, and conforming to my example in living, and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. Yeah. Woo, come on. Yeah. <laughs> and verse 25 says, For whoever wishes to save his life mm -hmm. in this world will eventually lose it yeah. through death. Mm -hmm. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake mm -hmm. will find it. That is life with me for all eternity yes. man that's a mouthful amen. but this is this is the real thing right here mm. amen lord i'm doing this under you mm -hmm. and sometimes you want you got to love the unlovely no oh, <laughs> if you haven't been out there there's a lot of unlovely people out mm. there they're doing all kinds of all kinds evil of things yes. and they're not always lovey dovey and you know but you remember you got to walk out there and see him through you, mm -hmm. his love and compassion. And yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put my my uh, Jesus, Jesus glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew six twenty four says, Jesus. These two words he says. He says, if any man mm -hmm. that puts the label of eligibility on us personally, we are suitable. We're in our entitlement, our worthiness, our fitness, and our appropriateness. Amen. Come on now. We're suited. You're suited for it. Right? Yes. Uh, verse 16, verse, uh, chapter 16, verse 24. As I read it to you again. It says this. It says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If any man mm -hmm. will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Mm -hmm. If any man, mm -hmm. woman, child, mm -hmm. you know, any person. Yes. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. We're going to follow me. The disciples who followed Jesus had. To make room for his own decisions. Yeah. They gave their profession. They gave up their jobs, mm -hmm. their career, their work, their business, and followed him. We must do the same thing. Yeah. You know, these disciples, the apostles, 12 of them, they lay down their nets. They lay down their, their tax tables. Mm -hmm. They lay down their worldly offices oh, at their own accord. Yeah. Jesus will not force you to do anything. That's right. God has given you a free will. But still, he told his, uh, he, 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 told, he told him, he says, go launch out some, and I want to use your ship. Just launch out some so I can minister to these people. Mm -hmm. And he did. They launched yeah. out when they came back. He's talking to a professional fisherman. Mm -hmm. And he says, okay, he says, go out so far and drop your nets on this side. Nets. He's a brewer. Mm -hmm. And they drop a net, mm. and still, you know, they could they they, they think it like uh, you know we're professional fishermen. Yeah. <laughs> and you come here and you try to tell us how to fish. We've been out all night. We ain't mm -hmm. catch nothing. So what makes you any better? Mm -hmm. This is just me. <laughs> so you know he's gonna get he's gonna tell you and give you examples. So go out and do it. He says, you know what? He says, well, obey what you said. Mm -hmm. They were, that was the best thing is they obeyed yeah. what he said. They went out yeah. and did it. And guess what? They had so many, so many fish. Right. Amen. The, the net was about to bust. Mm -hmm. And they called for help. Please help us. Mm -hmm. Amen. So some of them gave some good jobs mm -hmm. to follow him. Right after that, you know, they left their profession. Mm -hmm. They followed Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You got born again. Mm -hmm. It's time to line up with him no matter what he wants you to do. Yeah. Just line up with him and trust him. Mm -hmm. He's going to set you up. He's going to set people in front of you in places <laughs> that you need to be at. Yes. Yeah. And he's going to put the right things in front of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Trust him. Revelation 3 and 20 says this. Mm -hmm. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If any one hears my voice yes. and opens the door I will come in and eat with that person mm -hmm. and they with me he's not denying us we're denying him yeah yeah amen he you know he's he's been knocking on on, on our doors some of us for a long time yeah. and some of us take longer to come to Christ than some some, some little ones you know uh -huh. we taught children for 30 plus years 
And you know, children, man, just like little uh, little uh, clay, you know what I mean? They, they, they so, so, so easy. They'll just do whatever you tell them to do. But not brothers, man. We got some mindsets. Mm -hmm. We got some traditions. You know, we got some ways, you know. Hey, who do you think you are? Mm -hmm. I ain't going to do that. Well, he's been knocking on some of us. You know, been knocking for a long time. Till we finally surrender to him. It's time you give in. You know, you've tried everything and failed. And just like the prodigal son, been in the world and up and down and mostly downs. Mm -hmm. And he's still knocking. And he's not giving up on you. For God so loved the world. That means all people. Not just some people. He says all people. Yeah. To come to him. So you know. That door has been knocking. And you know it. And yeah. you know who you are. And it's time that you open the door. And surrender right. yourself totally to him. Yeah. Amen. And do it his way. His way is better. Yeah. <laughs> his way is the winning way. Mm -hmm. Our way. The world way. Mm -hmm. Is the losing way. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> the Lord has equipped us for every good work. But he's gifted us different. We have different gifts, different talents. So I don't have to copy what you do. And I can't do as well as you can because you're gifted a different way than I am. Mm -hmm. Just be the original God made you to be. Amen. When you be yourself, you're going to be the best God made you to be. Amen. And you're pleasing him, not people. Because you'll never please the world you'll never please people just be yourself amen he loves you just the way you are romans 12 and 4 says this for as in one body we have many members mm -hmm. and the members do not have the same function mm -hmm. so don't copy just be the original god equipped you to be amen and you can't go wrong that's it he didn't make no mistake no he didn't he didn't make no mistake you know sometimes we just want to copy because we don't want to study to show ourselves approved we don't want to get in the word for ourselves. Sometimes we don't want to do anything mm. except take it easy and comfy and all this other stuff. The flesh is always about comfy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, you know, I, I I remember being home, preparing myself. And, you know, I got in my fridge. I got all my booze. I got all my beers. I got all my things, you know, because the games are coming on. Yeah. And Sundays... Forget oh, about, no man, I'm going to be home. I'm going to be watching every game. I got to keep track, you know, because I got to tell all my friends tomorrow about all the scores, all the highlights. You know, hey, I'm ESPN. I was ESPN before ESPN came around. <laughs> they just come to Jose. <laughs> oh, man, you missed it. Let me tell you what you missed. But no, not anymore. You know, I've surrendered. Amen. And so have you. And that's why we're here. You know, assembling ourselves together. Do not forsake the assembly of yourselves together. We come together so we can honor Him and encourage one another. Hey, you know, you can make it. Yeah, you had a rough time, but guess what? With Him, all things are possible. Amen. So I want to just pray for you, lift you up. He may give us the voice of an angel and sing beautifully, but we still need to decide are we going to do it under Him? He didn't give me no voice of angel <laughs> when I sang people grunge. <laughs> but some of us are gifted to sing. Yeah, some of yeah. us have beautiful voices. And praise God. But you know, I could never sing like you did. Because that's your gift. Amen. But uh, still, I'm going to sing unto my Lord. Amen. Just make a beautiful sound. You know, when you see it, I'm going to do it under you, Lord. Whether these people around me like it or not. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Still sing. He's called us all, you know. I'm going to say this. And some of you are watching, some of you listening. Mm -hmm. God has called some of you to preach the gospel. Yeah. But we never fulfill the calling. Amen. Until you decide to accept the call, it ain't going to happen. Yeah. Amen. We're sitting, you know. I have people told me, say, hey, I know, you know what? God called me to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Really? So how come you're not doing it? Well, you know, they got excuses. Yeah. But one day, listen, one day you're going to stand before him. Yeah. And you're going to have to explain why you didn't use the gifts he gave you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't have to, nobody, your friends ain't going to be around. You can't please them anymore. They ain't going to be there to back you up. You're going to be one-on-one -on -one with him and you're going to have to explain why mm -hmm. you didn't do what I called you to do. You knew it all the time and you told everybody about it, but you never fulfilled 
what right. I called you to do. Why? Right. So it's time you surrender and give in to him and mm -hmm. start doing what he's called you to do. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. never, it's never, never, never too late. That's you can it. do it now. I don't care what, how old you are. Amen. Praise God. He's not finished with you. If you're still here, he ain't finished with you. He's, he's waiting for you to open that door yeah. that he's been knocking on for all this time. Amen. I can't, you know. Ever since he started calling people, mm -hmm. Jesus, or God started calling people, everybody says, I, I ain't good enough. Mm -hmm. I can't. I can't. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, let's forget about that. I can't. <laughs> let's be hearers and doers of what the Word of God tells us. Amen. Let me see what else you got. Well, take up your cross. That's what I'm going to say next. Again, this is a Matthew 16, 23, uh, uh, 24 through 28. Mm -hmm. Matthew 16, verses 24 through 28. Mm -hmm. Take up your cross and follow yeah. him. Whatever he's given you, mm -hmm. amen, you can do. Amen. Yeah. That's Jesus it. accepted coming to the earth to be sacrificed. He could have told the father, says, uh-uh, there's two nights up here in heaven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He could have said, forget about them people, you know. And I don't want to give my life for them. But he, he came. Amen. Some of us need to let go of those worldly ways and start yeah. serving him and yeah. doing for him. Amen. All right now. Praise God. Come on, man. Am I, am I stepping on some toes? That's now? all right. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> submit yourself to God, therefore... Uh, uh, submit their, uh, yourselves therefore to God resist uh -huh. the devil and he will flee from you mm -hmm. well the enemy is going to come and he's going to use people to tell you that you're not good enough you're not qualified you ain't got what it takes <coughs> and it's just going to put some fear in you mm -hmm. but if you follow the word mm -hmm. you're full of faith yes. and you're going to step out and do what God has called you to yeah, do yeah, yeah. Amen. so don't hold back Submit, surrender. Yes. This is to submit, surrender yourself, therefore to God, resist the devil, and he's going to flee. Amplified yeah. says, so submit to the authority of God, resist the devil, stand firm against him, and he's going to flee from you. Amen. You know what he's going to honor? He's going to honor the word of God coming yes. out of you. Yes. That's Amen. It. So, wow. He's going to have to boogie. He's going to have to go. Mm. How often we sing, uh, the hymns are all to Jesus I surrender and give ourselves completely to him and trusting him but the words we sing don't always reflect the true condition of our hearts oh boy you have to go there oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> amen mm -hmm. we know like I said uh, we need to clear up clean it up and let it go and quit hiding it because you ain't hiding it you're hiding it from me you're hiding it from, from somebody else but you ain't hiding it from God mm -hmm. you just gotta Give it all yeah. completely. Surrender all. It's time. <laughs> Proverbs 18 21 says this New King James Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the spoken word. Yeah. <laughs> when you speak, you're speaking words. Yes. And there's life and death in the words you speak. Mm -hmm. But you're going to, you, uh, those that love it will eat its fruit. Mm -hmm. So you have to be selective. You have to be yeah. careful. And you got to put a guard. Yes. So you don't be and say no, what the world right. is saying, but say and confess what the word of God says. Amen. 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 So it's it's easy. It's easy. And uh I gotta go through this. I have to go through this on a daily basis because I know all the negative words. <laughs> and I know all the curse words. Mm. But I put a card and it won't come I won't Amen. let it come out of me. Amen. Amen. So you select them just like shooting a, a weapon. Mm -hmm. Amen. You can squeeze the trigger. Well, I can squeeze the, the, the trigger and release whatever I want to release from mm -hmm. my mouth. Mm -hmm. But uh, I hold it back also because mm -hmm. I'm selective. Amen. Mm -hmm. We surrender all to Jesus. Surrender is to, listen to this. To surrender is to give up possession no. or the power over. To yield to another. Yield to him. Yield to Jesus. Listen to this. <laughs> this is what I was going to share earlier. To resign. To dethrone yourself. Mm -hmm. And throne him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And put him number one in your life. So yes. you're going to dethrone yourself. Mm -hmm. And put him on the throne. Yeah. It's time you 
dethrone yourself, get off the throne and put Jesus on the throne, you know. Mm -hmm. Don't put him up there once in a while when you think about him yeah. or when you want something, you know. Right. <laughs> but keep him on there. Yeah. And the next one, of course, is this. Keep priorities in order. Yeah. yeah. Matthew 6, 33 says yeah. what? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. Matthew 6, 33. Keep going, Connie. Let's see what else you got. Okay, we went through this. For as many, for as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office. We've all been called different to me. So just remember this physical body has many parts to it. And it takes all these parts working in unity and working together to complete this body. It's the body of Christ. All of us gifted different in different parts. But we complete one spiritual body, the body of Christ. Amen. And we all do different functions. Yeah. And he's called us all to do different functions. So I don't have to go around copying somebody. Just Amen. be the original. He called you to be Romans 12, 4. Keep going. Here we go. Somebody needs to take a picture of this. You <laughs> need to write this down. Yeah. Amen. It says, never be a prisoner of your past. We're going to be talking about your past in a few minutes. Never be a prisoner of your past. It was just a, a, a lesson and not a life sentence. Amen. It's just a life, uh, I mean, uh, just, uh, just uh, a life, uh, not a life sentence, but it was just a lesson. You've been there, you confessed it, it's gone, it's, leave it there. Don't bring it up. You know who's going to bring it up? It's going to pop in your mind all the time because the enemy wants to remind you of your past. And he's going to have people come around you and remind you of your past. You know, so that's not me. The next one, look, look at the next one. Accept your past without regret. Handle your presence with confidence and face your future without fears. Amen. I trust in Him. I'm going to live in the now because tomorrow, the future tomorrow has enough problems of itself. So I'm just going to stick with the now. Amen. And I'm going to have confidence in the present, in the now. Keep going, one more. There we go. When people bring up your past, tell them, Jesus dropped the charges. <laughs> he paid for it all. <laughs> because they're always going to see you and remember you from the past. And that's all they remember. You know, my family, they still bring up all my past stuff. They still remember good old Joe. You know, they don't see Pastor Joe. They see good old Joe. You know, growing up. Keep going. One more. This is good. Amen. Well, oh, I'm leaving right there. I'm leaving right there. <laughs> Surrender to Jesus. Let go and let God have his way daily with you. Yeah. Amen. Daily. He wants to, it's called relationship. Mm -hmm. He wants to have, he wants to start and have relationship with you. Daily, yeah. not just once in a while. You don't want no stepchildren. <laughs> they call you once in a while. He, you know, he, he wants he wants you now. Amen. Amen. It's difficult for people to understand true surrender, and more difficult to pursue one that is for his own good. Mm -hmm. It's easier to speak of letting God have His way than let it happen. Mm -hmm. We got to be hearers and doers of the Word of God, and we have to obey. Amen. Yes. Uh, go to James 1, 1.22 and you'll see this and you can underline it, highlight it. Amen. And uh, know it for yourself. You may already know it and have it highlighted or whatever, but still, we're using the word of James chapter 1 verse 22. And everybody knows this. It says, But be ye do, uh, doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your mm -hmm. own self. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the New Living Version says this: Do not listen. Do not just listen to the word, to God's word. You must do what it says. Otherwise, you are only fooling yourself. Mm -hmm. If you're reading it and you see what it says, then do it and be obedient. You know, and otherwise, you're only fooling yourself. Let me see something. The uh, Amplified says, be, be doers, 
but be doers of the word. Obey the message and not merely listeners to it, betraying yourselves into deception by reasoning contrary to the truth. Amen. So be hearers and doers of the word. A lot of us are good hearers. And we listen well. But we don't obey very well. So we need to change that. Okay. <laughs> the Bible tells us to be hearers and doers of what the word of God tells us to do. Amen. Come on. <laughs> All right. Amen. But now we get to when I finish this. But that's okay. But surrender means it means victory in your life daily. Yeah. Let go and let God have all of it. Yeah. Completely surrender. Total surrender. Total commitment. Surrender completely involves three areas of your life that we're going to be talking about this. Three areas of your life. Your past, your present, and your future. Amen. We're just going to hit some high points on, on every one of these. Amen. So praise God. Again, Romans chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. This is an easy to read version if you want to follow on the King James. You know what? Let's read it from King James and then we'll read it from the easy to read version. Which one is it? Romans, uh, book of Romans. Mm -hmm. And chapter 12. Okay. Are you there? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Chapter 12, verses 1 and 2. Mm -hmm says I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies what a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service and be ye not conformed what to this world but be ye transformed by what renewing of your mind the battlefield is the mind and you have all kinds of thoughts going through your mind we have to keep it renewed with the word of God feed the word of God you know, otherwise you can fall easy. Mm -hmm. Amen. So renewing your mind that you may prove what is good, acceptable, and perfect, perfect. will of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. The um, I'm gonna read it to you from the easy to easy to read version here. It says this Give your lives to God. So I beg you, brothers and sisters, because of the great mercies. God has shown us, mm -hmm. offer your lives as a living sacrifice to Him. Yeah. An offering that is only for God and pleasing to Him. Considering what He has done, it is only right that you should worship Him in this way. Mm -hmm. Don't change yourself to be like the people in this world, but let God change you inside with a new way of thinking, mm -hmm. renewing your mind. Then you will be able to understand and accept what God wants for you. Mm -hmm. Know what is good and pleasing to Him. Mm -hmm. And what is perfect. Yes. Amen. That's plain English. Yeah. Amen. The world will correct you. God will transform you to something good. Mm -hmm. Something better than what he made you to be. Amen. Amen. So praise God. That's, that's good. I and mean, this is where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. Philippians 3, 12 through 14. Easy to read version. Mm -hmm. Trying to reach my goal. I don't be see. I, I don't mean that I am exactly what God wants me to be. I have not yet reached that goal, but I continue trying to reach it and make it mine. That is what Christ Jesus wants me to do. Mm -hmm. He wants. He's for you. He's not against you. Yeah. He wants you to reach your goal. Yeah. Amen. And he's for you, and he's cheering you on. But we are holding back yes. because we're trying to please the world and we're trying to please him. And we're playing being lukewarm. Mm -hmm. He wants us to be hot for him, man. Right. <laughs> but I continue trying to reach it and make it mine. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. It is the reason he made me his his. Yes. Brothers and sisters, I know that I still have a long ways to go. Mm -hmm. And we all have a long ways to mm -hmm. go. None of us are perfect. That's it. Amen. But we can come together, encourage one another. Mm -hmm. Amen. And just Encourage each other to move on, press on, you know? Yes. But there's one thing I do. What do we do about our past? Mm. Forget what is in the past. Yes. Because what's the enemy? What's people going to hold against you? Yes. They're always going to bring up your mm. past. What do you mean you're this? What, what do you mean you're claiming to be this or you're doing this? Mm -hmm. Your past 
and you know it holds you back yeah. you know you can't do this and you're not qualified for god's work because of your past you gave me scripture for this <laughs> somebody told you this tell them give me scripture for it mm -hmm. amen there's one thing i do i put your name there mm -hmm. i forget what is in the past yes. and i try as hard as i can to reach the goals before me yes 14 says i keep running hard mm -hmm. towards the finish line yeah, to yeah. get the price that is mine because god has called me through christ jesus to live up there in heaven heaven is for you do you want heaven the choice is yours yeah do you want heaven? Then you have to keep this. It says, I keep running hard towards yes. the finish line. Yes. He, he tells us, mm. press on on a daily basis. Yeah. Press on. You woke up. Thank you, Lord, for this miracle. Yes. My eyes are hard. He gave me a wake-up call. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice yes. and be glad in you. Amen. Yes. And I'm going to press on with the things of God. Yes. After I spend time with Him, yes. I don't care what's waiting me out there. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And so can you. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Thank I'm blessed. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> there you go. We just ready. Come and go ahead. <laughs> if you're depressed, you're living in the past. If you're anxious, you are living in the future. And if you're at peace, you're in the present. So pick one. <laughs> Stay in the presence of people, yes. you know. <laughs> Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says this in New King James. Trust in the Lord with some of your heart. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. Yes. In all your ways, all acknowledge your ways. Him yes. and He will direct your, your path. path. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm trusting you. Yes. Thank you. It's time that you mm -hmm. surrender. Mm -hmm. It's time that you trust me. Yes. Amen. Amen. All the time, I'm trusting you. Yes. I'm pressing on with you. Amen. He will direct your path. Amen. Amen. And He's there Amen. with you. He, he don't leave you. That's it. And your past is dead and gone. Sins forgiven, mm -hmm. yes. But some of those sins are still being carried around. Mm -hmm. The enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy, mm -hmm. and remind us or remind by using anyone available. The past has not been forgotten. Yeah. Amen. Let, let it go. That's what he says. You know, if you confess your sins, he says he is faithful and just to forgive you of your sins Amen. and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. He forgives and forgets, and you're still holding on to him. Why? You need to forget about it. Yeah. Amen. Past is too awful for me to do any works for the Lord. Confess it, release it, forget it, and renew your mind. <laughs> that was a lot, huh? Um, confess it, release it, forget it, and renew. Mm -hmm. I'm pressing on. I'm a new preacher in Christ. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God likes it, so I'm going to yeah. press on with Him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if God forgives your sins, your past is gone. Why keep on remembering your, your forgiven past yeah. and forgetting uh, and letting it interfere in your services for the Lord? Because it's going to interfere in your services. And people are going to come and judge you and say, Why are you still doing this for the Lord when you've got all this sin against you? Yeah. Say, Hey, the charges have been dropped. Yeah. I confess it. He forgave me. The yeah. charges are dropped. But yeah. people ain't forgiving you. Mm. I confessed it to him, and that's what counts. Yes. You know, they're not forgivable. He's forgivable. Yes, yes. Amen. <laughs> Woo, praise God. Amen. God is good. Yes. Examine yourself. Take an inventory now and confess all sins. Don't let the past wreck the present. Yes, yes. Amen. The Bible said, John 10, 10, Jesus, I mean, the uh, enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Yes. But Jesus says, I've come that you might have life in heaven more abundantly. I want to bless you. You got to serve him. Surrender and serve him well. Amen. Yes. And he was going to bless you and have life abundantly. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Remember, remember what Peter did. Uh, oh, we don't. We're we'll close with this. Remember what Peter, Peter did. Mm -hmm. He listen. He fell to his lowest of his life when he denied Jesus three times. Mm -hmm. Now, Jesus could have said, "I can't. I'm not going to use you anymore." 
You denied me three times in front of all these people. Mm. You say, you don't even know me. I'm not with them. I'm not one of them. Mm. We've done that. Yeah. We've done that some kind of way. Mm -hmm. You know, by just ignoring him, having all kinds of excuses for whatever reason. But listen to this. He denied him three times. Mm -hmm. But who was it that preached at Pentecost? Mm -hmm. Who did Jesus pick to pre preach at Pentecost? Mm -hmm. Peter, twice. Thousands mm -hmm. gave their lives to, to Christ. Thousands gave their lives back to God. Amen. So guess what? Guess who he's going to use? Mm -hmm. You are the Peter. Yeah. You are that person that God is going to use. Yeah. See yourself that way. He denied and he was face to face. He denied Jesus yeah. three times. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you've done. It's confess it, forgive, you know, he'll conf confess, forgive, and let it go. And press on with yeah. the, what he wants you to do. He says, get up, dust yourself, and press on. It's time yes. to move on with him. Again, yes. you know, if, 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 as a child of God, if you've sinned, just confess it and get it off of you mm -hmm. and press on. You know, runners, mm -hmm. they don't need all that extra weight when they run. That's it. Amen. Us, in doing his service, mm -hmm. we don't need all this extra weight that's going to keep you all mind all fogged up, mm -hmm. you know, confused. Mm -hmm. Just confess it and let it go. Amen. Yeah. We're just in the, in the past. We haven't even got to the the, the present or the, or the, or the future, so that's we're going right. to have to continue with this. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to this. Thousands were saved. So don't give up. God's not finished with you. God's not finished with you. He has great plans for you. See, that's you. See yourself that way. He loves you this much. So we must be hearers and doers of the word of God. Forgive and forgive. What's all we've been confessed. Amen. So, Father, we just said, hope you did you get something? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, praise God. Amen. Thank you, Father, for your precious Lord. word, Lord. Yes. We receive it, and we want to apply it to our lives, Lord, and yes. press on with what you have for us, Lord. Amen. Bless each and every one, Lord, that's listening and watching, Lord. Bless their lives, Lord, and let them know that it is because of you, Father God, that I come to Christ now and start serving him daily. Amen. In Jesus' name. So it's time to give. Those of you watching and listening, and give you time to offerings. You still can just go to our website. It's on the screen. NBCBigBen.com. Hit the donate button. If you mail it in, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And now you can give cash app at New Beginnings Church of the Amen. Amen. So praise God. We also want to pray for all of you that are uh, might have a sickness in your body. You know, the Bible tells us that uh, God Jesus Christ, you are healed. So we're believing for your healing. Amen. We rebuke that spirit of infirmity. We command yes. it to go in Jesus' name. And we yes. thank you, Father. Thank you. No malfunctions in this body. Yeah. Heal totally from crown, yes. crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Okay. We receive it, thank Lord, you. and we give you all the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. And we surrender ourselves to you, Father, yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Praise God.